this is Metal Perspective. I'm Sheldon, and this is... This is F-Bomb Diggity Dog. F-Bomb Diggity Fucking Dog. All right, today we are going to review Trooper, or not Trooper Beer. We already reviewed Trooper once, uh, Iron Maiden Beer. Uh, now we are going to review the Fear of the Dark. Yes, so, the Fear of the Dark. Fear of the Dark. We're going to, you know, uh, Trooper was good. That was uh, another, that's another Iron Maiden. That's another Iron Maiden beer. Brew. Uh, has a nice bottle. Uh, bottle caps are awesome. Uh, with the Trooper, too. They have a uh, song or album on there. This one is Dance of Death. Dance of Death. That's, that's right. Fucking cool 2003. Shit, that is ballsy. Yeah. Yeah. That is cool. Makes you wonder how much it costs to, uh, I know I'm slamming the beer around. Uh, how much it costs to uh, print these uh, bottle caps. But, uh, no, it's nothing if you're a Iron Maiden, you know. Shit. Oh. Yeah, this is a podcast. It's called uh, Rough Shot. So we're running rough shot up everybody's assholes. That's right. You know, fuck them. You know. All right, let's see what this fucker tastes like. I was pleased with the Robinson. Um, Brewing company before with uh, their other beers, and when they came out with the Iron Maiden beer, it was really, it was going, oh, these are actually pretty damn good. Uh, more of a IPA strong flavored beer. This is, uh, this is dark. I, mean, like, I like the look of this. Beer, yeah, know? I like the look of this. This is it's nice. like, uh, like bread. Are you gonna cut this up and fucking throw so some fill you up for the night right here? Tomatoes and tomatoes and fucking mustard. I don't know. Take whatever you want to fucking. Cheers, do. mate. Cheers. Palate's been cleansed. Oh, yeah, I had a couple crackers knowing I was gonna do this. <laughs> um, IPA. It's a piece of flowery, doesn't it? Yeah. That is really flowery. Yeah, it's flowery. But it has that uh, <clears throat> sort of porter porter taste to it too. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Uh, it's 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 heavy, dark. Yeah. Uh, but it also is a little bit uh, flowery. Yeah. No, I'm not much into the clone. Uh, the uh, you know where it tastes like you're drinking perfume. Right. Uh, this isn't at that bad. I like it. I like it. Um, but I'm not gonna. It's not something I'm gonna sit down and drink. This wouldn't be an everyday beer, for no, sure. I mean, this would be, a, hey, once in a while, hey, shit, man, give me a fear of the dark. Uh, I prefer the trooper. It's much, much better. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't here for the uh, last episode of Trooper. I have had it before. Yeah. And one thing that the British do very well is... Uh, bitch? Root beer. Yeah, they oh. bitch, too. They <laughs> no, do. I'm no. Uh, uh, but, yeah. I'm very proud of the British. Yeah, English people. The English. Yeah, um, or their Brexit and, you know, whatever. But I don't want to get political. No. Um, so, uh, was it, who died? So, uh, the drummer of Foo Fighters passed mm -hmm. away at 50. Foo Fighters was passed, passed away at 50. I wonder when he passed away from. Uh, we can find out. I don't think it's very natural to pass away at 50. I sure well, shit wouldn't be happy passing away at 50. No? Depends how I'm getting close to it. Well, yeah, right. A uh, good friend of mine passed away at the age 50, and uh, that was that was pretty sad. Taylor Hawkins. Taylor hey, Hawkins. Could you do me a, a favor, fucking engineer? Fucking Taylor. I don't know why. Uh, could you do me a favor and grab my uh, my backpack, mm -hmm. please? That'd be great. Yeah. Anytime. He needs his uh, pack of you know, whatever. My, my pack of back. Pack of back. But, so uh, it says here, uh, passed away at 50, no further information. Obviously, clearly, they're not going to say anything. Oh, no, they're not going to say anything. And even if, uh, you never know if what they say is going to be the actual truth or not. No, no, of course not. Uh, nobody's ever honest these days. Uh, but then again, if uh, you died with your hand on your dick and, you know, hanging in a closet. Yeah. And you're in women's Thank panties, you, sir. You know. Take care of you. Yeah, then, uh, <laughs> yeah it's too bad that that's yeah, the no, only that's thing he's what, known that's for. That's what they say, but you know what I mean? Come on, I love Dennis Day, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? One of his best movies is one of my favorite movies, Lone Wolf McQuaid. 
Yeah. And if you haven't seen it, go out and see it today. Did he have that uh, cannonball? Not the cannonball run, but it's called the cannonball ball with. Uh, oh, no, like no, Sylvester Death Race. Sloan or the something. original Death, Death Race. Race. Yeah, yeah, Death Race. That was Death a badass Race movie. That was a badass movie. Yeah. I think we should have something similar to that today uh, for those who are uh, deciding to oh, do, do illicit and illegal yeah. activity, for sure. So the family was devastated by the tragic and untimely loss. Uh, his musical spirit and infectious laughter will live on with all of us forever. Isn't that true, though, with music? It's, un it's timeless. Yeah, yeah. Regardless so, if you have an untimely death or not. And, you know, people in the rock and roll industry, heavy metal or any, any of that, you know. Yeah. Uh, oftentimes succumb to a short life because uh, it's not an easy life. You know, you party hard and you, you're on tour and you have a lot of stress and blah, 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 all that. Another thing I was just reading here. Very interesting. I guess Testament's uh, drummer left the band recently. Testament's drummer? Yeah. No, I guess we haven't seen him. Uh, oh, it makes me wonder why. Here. Masturbating to... Uh, There's probably some woke bullshit. Year old you know, or masturbating to... Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, you know, it could be anything. Uh, politics nowadays. I mean, people can't be a family anymore and, and disagree. They have always got to shut each other out. So I, hopefully it's not politics. Yeah. Hopefully there it's more than that. Maybe I don't want to say I hope it's I hope it's uh, you know a health issue, but uh, right. I'd rather be health issues than you know people hating each other. But you can have something strange happen too, like what happened with Tom Petty. Yeah. You know where he just mixes the wrong concoction and you know this or that. But you know my belief is that when it's it's time, it's time. So Dave Lombardo, who happens to be my favorite drummer of all time, played for Slayer for many many years. And uh, also got fucked over by Slayer. He happened to be on the phone within an hour uh, of hearing the news that drummer Gene Hogland left the band. Huh. The band Testament. Huh. Uh, who I've seen. You seen Testament? No, I have not. Yeah, uh, it was a it was a really horrible um, set because I think they played like three songs. It was a real, like, squeeze them in, sh shove them out type of deal. And uh, they were awesome. Testament is awesome. Um, especially back in the 90s when uh, they had that long, beautiful, right. heavy metal hair. Right. That was the balls. Yeah. Um, and things have changed since then. But, um, yeah, yeah, Dave Lombardo is still, uh, still going strong. He's my favorite drummer of all time. And um, so... Uh, yeah, that's cool. Um, well, you know, um, I'm going to be seeing them soon. They, they have quite a few uh, concerts coming up in front of Rockville. Yes. Uh, so you uh, you get tickets for that? Uh, not not for Rockville yet. I am going to. It gets a little costly when you got to pay for a bar and a concert. Uh, four people is what, $1,000, 1200 bucks. Something like that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not cheap. Uh, but that's for all, you know, all the days. Uh, uh, four show, four days, I think. Yes, four days. Uh, so you know, it's, it's not too bad. It's two fifty a day. I mean, you're getting what you're getting out of. You know, two hundred fifty dollar a day is quite a bit when you've seen. Oh, the I've seen the ticket. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many bands. A lot not of all bands. of them I really care to to, uh, to watch. Some of them I've seen already, but um, it doesn't matter. It's it's a it's a big deal. Right. It's a huge it's a huge deal. It's great for the state of Florida. It's great for Daytona. And it's going to be uh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be Oh yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, know. it's always uh, it's always good to know um, that there are people out here that, that enjoy that kind of thing. Yeah. And it will constantly be coming out. We will be uh, showcasing a lot of bands uh, because metal isn't dead over here unlike no. Los Angeles. Yeah. Um I believe uh, that, that Florida is really, it might not be the birthplace of metal, but it's definitely heavily influenced. Right. You know, I mean, there's so much metal down here. Yeah, there's we a lot We were just of metal. talking about going to see this show, um, uh, you know, over at the, uh, the bar over there. 
in uh, Orlando. Oh, The Haven, yes. The, the Haven. Haven, yes. Going to go see Nico McBrain play with uh, Titanium Tart. Uh, that's a funny name. Titanium uh, Tart? Yes, Titanium Tart. I wonder tart. what the how they how they came up with that. Well, you know, iron is a metal. Titanium, titanium gotcha. Tart. Is a, so titanium is a ferrous metal that is extremely lightweight. <laughs> and extremely strong has a with a very high tensile strength. Yeah. Very light, very light. Very light. And very expensive, too, just in case you want to build a... Super expensive, area. yeah. Well, well, it's not uh, platinum expensive, but... Um, well, nowadays, I mean, a gallon of paint, premium paint's going for $85 a gallon, so... Yeah, no shit. Uh, yeah. 85 fucking dollars a gallon of paint, you shit. Um, anyway, um, what we have here is uh, 11 artists that turned down huge rock metal bands. All right, let's hear it. All right. Which what we got now? is uh, Daryl Hall turned down Van Halen. Oh, I thought he was going to turn down uh, John Oates. Oh, no. Well, you know, you never know. Um, I don't know how that No, he clearly didn't is. because that was yeah. a thing in the 80s. Yeah. But so, so he turned down Def Leppard. No. He <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Rocket! No, Daryl... Yeah! <laughs> Daryl Hall turned down Van Halen. Oh, Van Halen. Which, you know, I, I why Van Halen asked Daryl Hall to do shit? And as, me, as uh, uh, what was his... Uh, what was he was supposed to do? Me, you know? <laughs> he was going to play piano? Or was you he was going to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is he going to be a singer? Piano. Um, uh, well, th it's actually dumb that he did it, but I'm, I'm happy he did. You know, uh, they could have, you know, they're all looking to get a Van Halen. It's a, a bigger band than Hall and Oates ever were. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, to all the uh, people that like Hall and Oates, uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Dave Grohl turned down Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Really? Which I think is actually fucking foolish. Um, I don't know why he turned down. I, I would have Dave been like. Grohl from Foo Fighters? Dave Grohl from Foo Fighters turned down. Imagine how things have been. Maybe the drummer also, wouldn't have died if he oh did man. that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. No. Um, with with this day, well, actually, with any day. I mean, Ozzy Osbourne, does, you know, he he does his own thing. But, you know, he goes out with Black Sabbath. It's not that. Um, well, look, Adrian Smith has got their own thing uh, going yeah. on, and. Uh, Steve Harrison, yeah, I'm, I, a lot of Iron Maiden references here. And uh, Nico McBrain's got theirs. Yeah, and they, they all do their own shit. Yeah, and nobody, nobody's feelings are hurt. No. Um, but with Dave Grohl, he could have gone back and forth with uh, Poo Flingers and or Poo Fighters. <laughs> and, oh, uh, certainly. And Tom Petty. I would have liked to have seen that, actually. Well, it's, it's kind of like... Um, That's actually a hard notch in your belt, man. Right, I, I don't... Yeah. I, I like, the, like the music, but I don't care for the guy. Uh, Corey Taylor... He's with Sun Sour and Slipknot. Right, and right. He, he's with uh, multiple people all, all at once. All the time. So. Yeah, if you can't do that, then, uh, you know, yeah. go, go cry about your troubles to your wife. Right, right. <laughs> because uh, Corey Taylor certainly did that, among other things, uh, having over $30 million in sales for Slip, Slipknot alone. Yeah. Not to mention Stone Sour and everything that he accomplished there. Right. Um, but he also is an author of, I think, three different books. Yeah. You know, which is is pretty uh, pretty impressive. He wasn't the lead well, band if he, for... if he actually wrote the books, I mean, if he didn't... Yeah, who cares? Yeah, well, I mean, he's if he's dictating shit... And then what is that called? That, uh, yeah. that dragon app or whatever, you speak into the microphone and it's talk to text. You don't have to actually write the book, you just talk no, to No, 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 but I mean, that's, that's fine, talk to text, but it's like... You know, a lot of people, hey, uh, write a book and they get an assistant. Yeah, they, not, they have they, ghost writers. They have ghost writers for them, write the book for them. That's you know, happening add, a lot today. Yeah, yeah, and add a lot of shit that they, you know, it's like in and out of their alcoholic or drug and duke cave, they're giving out, you know, uh, little tidbits of information. And then, of course, this person's got to go back and research and then say, you know, on this... Uh, this night, uh, so and so, you know, played played with this band and mm -hmm. that band, and you know, he yeah. was 
watch, uh, you know, and they would they would get the hard details or you know. Oh, I love the like hard that. details. But instead, of, yeah. yeah, instead of writing it yourself and getting a full blown, you know, I was there. This is exactly what happened. This I is how I perceive this shit. I haven't spoken to Corey in years, but the last time we spoke, I got the feeling that he would not do something like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, just saying. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. This guy, uh, step all over your friend here. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So Taylor Hawkins is all over uh, the metal news, and uh, you know a lot of drummers actually. Uh, Joey Jordison of Slipknot died recently as well. Schlecknot. Oh, yeah. 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 Schlecknot. <laughs> and uh, shit, man, I, th- I always thought he was a really good drummer. Yeah. He died yeah. young though. He died a lot younger than fifty. He was. Uh, I'm fifty. So you're 49. Yeah, I'm 49. Yeah. I'm old as shit. You look like a pile of shit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's a pile of shit here. No pulling punches. This is, uh, no. well, it's just like when we work together, so. You can suck is corn? Dick. Is corn? yeah. <laughs> is, uh, corn's going to be up there at that, uh. I like corn. Metalville. Except for when I get to pick it out of my teeth. Yeah. It's definitely. Uh, Where I see it in my shit. That's well, corn has hit a new popularity recently. The, have they the, changed their music? I haven't heard no, anything. No, they, no, they haven't it's changed, good but shit. it's it's people in my generation that are finally like, oh shit! You know, oh, they're into this it. Band back in the '90s that was right, freaking awesome. They were on top for a long time, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Corn is good shit. I heard that. Um, I forget the lead man's name. I'm not good with memory, but. I heard he was a real douchebag. John, really? uh, Jonathan Davis. Yes, yeah. Jonathan Davis. I heard that. Yeah, he, uh, he he was when he was younger. Okay. He uh, apparently he has changed uh, his himself because he obviously doesn't drink or do drugs anymore. Uh, right. But he he kind of he he let a lot of stuff go to his head and he blacked out all the time because of his childhood. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. So he, he tends just to listen be, to the lyrics. I mean. He tended to be a pretty, uh, pretty yeah. big douche back in the day. Yeah, too bad to uh, you know, learn the hard way and get smacked around a little bit. You know, Henry Rollins learned the whole hard way. You know, yeah, that's that. why he got big, you know, because, you know, fights at, at his shows and shit. Well, <coughs> so he says. But I don't doubt it. I mean, I get big as shit, too. Uh, mm-hmm. If, if I had to, fight. you know, if I got off stage and, you know, somebody's so happy with my music and they're going to fucking punch me in the mouth. I mean, that's yeah. just punk, though. I mean, that, that's, you know, versus, uh, like, uh, hair metal guys when you hear, oh, Tommy Lee pushed this fucking poor guy in the audience. Well, you know, if I was that poor guy in the audience, you know, there'd be poor Tommy Lee all over the fucking ground. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, I'm not going to fuck, I don't give yeah. a fuck who he is. String bean looking yeah, motherfucker. Uh, I'll go to jail again. There was one video I'd seen. Um, it was a uh, five-finger death punch. Four finger snatch jab. Uh, That's right. The lead, lead singer was out by himself and um, talking to the crowd, and he watched a guy in the crowd pick up another dude and slam him on top of his head. Ah, it's fucked up though. And in front of everybody, he goes, "Hey, why the fuck did you do that? You and, and the guy was acting like it wasn't him. He goes, "You, I'm pointing at you right there. The guy that just picked him up and slammed him on his head. You could have killed him." He goes, I'm not starting the show again until he's out of here. That's awesome. Yeah. And and he didn't. And he goes, somebody make sure that guy's okay. Yeah. And uh, most most metalheads know that's not what it's all about. That's it. Yeah. No, that's a yeah, line that has been crossed. The, the crowd should have actually shame shame on you, crowd. Yeah. Shame on. They should have fucking taken him out and pushed him out the fucking exit. Yeah. You know. Or stopped it. Yeah. Stopped it and, and, and flat out helped that person that up shit. and. Yeah, you get know. that fucker out of there. Yeah, no, that's For sure. bullshit. But hats off to him, man. That's cool shit, though. Mm-hmm. It's But if you're going to be an asshole to the fucking fans, you yeah. know. No, I, I can understand being an asshole to a fan if the fan's out of line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I get that. I really do. But, if you know, if I'm waving at you across the street and you're flipping me off, fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Or if, uh, you know, I'm out there and I want your autograph and you're at a show, you're doing your thing. <laughs> And that's your fucking job, man. Is when yeah. you, I figure when you go to a show, 
and people get in contact with you and you they want to aut- autograph you that's what you're fucking there for or, or, or you know they, they give you like, like David Bowie his fans loved him so much Guy, guys would come up and start kissing him he would should just, I he, kiss he, him he, too he, <laughs> he, he, he'd keep walking and, and he, you know he would just let him do whatever it's, I mean, it, it is what it is granted you know, obviously like, even he had his limits but he didn't he wasn't a dick to anybody he, he let people see their favorite person and right right touch him touch him and Feel well, I, yeah, touch it. Feel it. <laughs> I've seen, like I've have said before, I I believe on this podcast that I've seen people out in pu- public. I give them a fucking nod, yeah. but I would never interrupt anybody while they're eating or on the street doing their own thing. I just let them know, hey, fucking awesome, you know, and hey, give them a nice. fucking nod. I, I know who you are, you know. Have a nice fucking day. Yeah. And they're like, you know, and it's cool. They get they fucking smile back at you and they appreciate what you've done. Instead yep. of running over there going, hey, can you sign my fucking ball sack? Yeah, yeah exactly. I, you know? I've heard quite a few different um, celebrities, NBA players, whoever say, you know, some of the coolest interactions I've had aren't even up close. They're the people who are, who are walking by and just give you a little head nod. You know, hey, I'm, I, I, I know you're there. It's nice to see you. It's yep. kind of funny because it was mostly NBA stars that I've yeah. seen. You know, <laughs> there, yeah. I, we had Mike Ness come over and, you know, um, Mike Ness, keep the politics out of the fucking music, please. And don't assault your fans Indeed. over politics. Don't, yeah, don't assault your fans over the politics. It, you know, people love you for what you've done, your music. Just stay out of politics. But he used to come by the shop all the time. Um, and uh, he was a cool guy. You know, give him a nod. And I, didn't, I didn't even want to bother him because he was hanging out with, with my boss. You know, he was... You know, it was real cool. And uh, I had CD, you know. Mm. You know like, and I go, man, I'd love to get a CD signed. And Danny, I worked with a guy named Danny. Yeah, uh, he went, he goes, oh, give me the CD. I'll have him sign it. I go, I, I don't want to, you know, put him out. He goes, no, man, he's not like that. So he went in, and I got my uh, CD signed, Social Distortion. Yeah, that's some so, old school stuff. You know, he's, you know, he, he was a cool guy, but, you know, lately the, the politics thing, you know, this kind of shit's got to stop. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I'm, I'm one way, they could be another way, and I could still like you. Right. You know, That's you it. can have your opinion. That's right. But the minute you wish me death like fucking Howard Stern does, wishes yeah. us all dead. Yeah, that fucker. Please don't come to my town. And yeah. Please don't be within 10 feet of me because right. I will get you. Yeah, I won't be just, I won't be just waving to you. And I no. won't be asking for an autograph either. You, you've already wished me dead, so I know yeah. where I fucking stand. Exactly. You know, I don't wish any of these people dead. No. But I wouldn't mind beating the piss out of Howard Stern a little bit. Uh, I'd be too easy. He's a pussy. No, I've been a fan for a long time of Howard Stern. Though. I remember back years ago, yeah. it was entertaining to listen to. Yeah, he was. And his whole story really from coming up from where he came from was really, frankly, inspiring. Yeah. Uh, but then, you know, like a lot of people, that all just crumbled, and he's been doing the same thing with, what's uh, what's his co-pilot's name? Oh, Robin Quivers. Robin. Robin. And uh, they're just, it's, it's, it's just old hat. They've done everything. They think they can say anything and do anything, just like all these other elitists and these uh, professional athletes and stuff, They celebrities and things like this. They just think that they're untouchable. They can say and do anything. And it's like, that's not what you're getting paid for. Right. You know, so do your fucking job, and don't talk yeah, about politics, and don't laugh, talk yeah. about how you want to, you know, this, that, and the other, whatever. The yeah. motherfucker uh, he used to make me laugh, and now he makes me depressed. Yeah. Well, because he, he, he's not really funny anymore. It's just he talks about this depressing crap, and he just wishes horrible things on people. Right. So this is something that you might be interested in, because sure. uh, Rob Zombie's bassists uh, host this show. It's called Robert England. Freddy Krueger. Right. And Don Dawkin reunite for Gibson's new web series, Metal and Monsters. Nice. That's pretty cool. No, so that's say, uh, right up uh, that's right up Rob Zombie's uh, alley. And of course, this is his basis that, that uh, is, is talking about it. But um, uh, they, They've all got a similar personality there. Yeah. No, I love oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're, who are we seeing? Uh, we're seeing uh, Rob Zombie, Power Man, um, uh, Mudbane, Static Axe, and, and Mudbane. I'd like to see Mudbane. Yeah. Is that, 
Coming up, you mean? No, it's coming up. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'd like yeah, to see it. Yeah, it's in July 26th, I want to say. Oh, okay. Yeah, in, in late July. So it starts off. See that. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I love I love seeing Rob Zombie. And we have Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent is the week birthday? before. Yeah, it's on our birthday. It's on your birthday, yeah. In Florida? Yeah. yeah see, that's what makes Florida. us stay great, aside yeah. from Ron DeSantis. Yeah, it's the uh, uh, Uncle Ted. And uh, yeah, he is Uncle a Ted, uncle. Right. I, I, didn't, oh, yeah. I didn't realize they were that close together. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. I love Uncle Ted. You yeah. Know. Uncle and Ted. Uh, hands off to you, uh, Ted. So the yeah, first, he's a pretty cool guy himself, too. Oh, he's he's an amazing. Person. Oh, what he does he's definitely for a patriot. people, you know, yeah. from what I've heard and read, you know, hunting turkeys or deer or whatever mm-hmm. to feed the homeless. Yeah. Um, he's was basically he's having his cake and eat it too. He's able to hunt because he's an avid hunter. Um, conservationist, he's a, you know, kind of you know with with hunting. And uh, feeding people. Give back to the and, community. And, and, that's but the that, shit. that's also yeah. the thing with him is that's a true, that, to me, that's true charity. You, you have a bunch of other charities that they accept donations right. and then they take something right off of it. Well, yeah. he gets a bunch of ammunition and a bunch of guns from people and he goes out and hunts and he gives all that food. He gives straight food. He gives a good feed to people to eat. Right, so, right. Definitely. And that's, that's real cool. I'm, I'm glad he does that. True charity. It is charity. Although, you know, he is having fun doing his charity. Oh, so. of course. I mean, that's, you know, I mean, that's a plus plus. Yeah. You know, you have fun not, doing not feeling obligated, and, you know, and he wants to do it. Uh, unlike some people think they're going to buy their way into heaven or hell or whatever. No, that's right. They're doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this reads, uh, it is impossible to separate heavy metal from horror films. Yes, it is, actually. Ever since the first metal band got their name from a Boris Karloff movie, which I didn't know, advertised on a nearby theater marquee, heavy music and monster movies have been inseparable. Oh, yeah. No, without a doubt. So that sounds like something I'd like to check out. Metal and Monsters. Well, Don Dawkins. Are you guys on? Yeah. Okay. What's up, sister? Hello. Oh, sweet. Welcome back. I mean, they're, they're very they're very similar. I mean, horror movies and metal. I mean, right. Oh, here's a funny thing. They're, that they're two extremes. Yeah. When I was down here in uh, 89, 90, uh, I guess it was 88 through 90, my first day of school, I wore Slayer Self of Heaven shirt. Nice. To school. I'm sure the teachers love that. <laughs> I had to turn it inside out. <laughs> but if that's not a horror movie on a a shirt. I mean, what is? So that was badass. S- sadly, I packed it away. Otherwise, I'd probably have my um, Iron Maiden shirt out right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you have so, a, you have quite a few kinds of shirts. Metal. Iron Maiden, I got corn. I have. I know I have. Uh, Soundgarden. Well, Soundgarden was where <laughs> we bought that concert. Yeah. <coughs> I was going to wear my uh, uh, CSI shirt. Because you love Godzilla anyway. Yeah. Godzilla's the shit. I, I think I got, uh, did I get a shirt of Black Sabbath? I think I did. You have a Black Sabbath shirt now. That's what I thought. You have a fuck ton of Harley shirts too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I so, don't because I don't like the Harley shirt. Metal and Monsters will be uh, entertained on YouTube. And will be entertained on YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. And it will probably get a hard strike pretty quick. Probably. Unless you're going to play it, like, real, you know, cool, you know. Right. Well, you never know. Uh, do you know uh, Megadeth uh, asked Dimebag Daryl to play with her? When, uh, oh, that would have been awesome. In the 90s? Yeah. Uh, well, in, in late 80s, early 90s, when Pantera oh, when started first going. being form- yeah. formed. Yeah. Uh, well, they were already, you know, Cowboys from Hell was going on. Yeah. And uh, Jeff really Young was out. Yeah, that would have been an interesting sound. That would have been a fucking cool sound. Um, So Megadeth with Dimebag Daryl. Yeah, but I think with who Dimebag was, and um, I know a lot of people may disagree, but I think with Dimebag Daryl was, Megadeth would have just um, choked his talent a little bit Mm. because it's Dave Mustaine's way or no way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, It's going to sound the way he wants it. And nothing else. It'll have a slight flare of dime bag, but it sure as shit 
it's not going to be not, like fucking Pantera. Yeah, 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 it wouldn't be. It, it Dimebag has a signature sound, mm-hmm. and it wouldn't be that. Yeah. You guys so, heard of uh, yeah. Septic Flesh? No. Uh, um, that that's another thing I, I really liked about Pantera is throughout the song everybody got their moment. Uh-huh. Their 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 solo or whatever their their one moment in in at pretty much almost every song. Um, where they got to do do whatever you know they they. Well, yeah, they have had a good, good artistic sound. They want. Yeah. But uh, you know, I've heard of to- Toxic Shock. <clears throat> Septic Flesh. Unleash Second Signal Neuromancer. They look pretty badass. Uh, I'm not going to play it here, but... Um, they they are, are Greek. They're Greek. Symphonic death metal. Greek metal band. You don't hear too many Greek symphonic death metal... Oh, they're death metal giants. Oh, they're giants. Yeah, they're oh, giants. Okay. Okay. Of course, that makes sense with the Greek mythology. Yeah, yeah uh, they're, they're fucking they, giants. Unleashed a video, like they would unleash uh, the wrath of gods. Um, but they look pretty, pretty, uh, pretty morbid, pretty badass. But like I said, there is a video here. But uh, first song, the collector. Second is. Hierophant. I still um, self eater. I like the sounds of that. Yeah, no, that sounds like a fun time. Yeah, I never leave the room. Uh, Neuromancer, coming storm, a desert throne, modern primitives, psycho history, and a dreadful muse. A dreadful muse. All right, so Joe Satriani, Deep Purple wanted Joe Satriani to play. Oh yeah. 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 That would have been pretty cool. Yeah. It would have been interesting. Well, they probably, Deep Purple would have gone farther, I'm sure. Yeah, they didn't, I don't even know how long they lasted, but it wasn't very long. No, well, you know, it's it's Deep Purple, so. Right. You know, whatever. Um, John Bush. All right, let's see. I got a ring. John Bush. The trajectories of Armored Saint in Anthrax might have looked much different had singer John Bush fronted Metallica after the recent release of uh, Kill 'Em All in a Nutshell. Hetfield was dubbing his abilities as a vocalist, so he invited Bush to come on board so he can focus on his guitar work. Yeah, I don't fucking think so. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I am, I am a fan, but not a fan of Metallica. Yeah. Anybody is. Well, no, I'm, I mean, I'm, it was I'm a... I'm real a, fucking hard on him, but yeah. geez, no, come on. I agree. I feel the same way about Metallica. Um, you know, I wish... Uh, I wish that uh, they had made some different decisions right. along the road. Yeah. You know? Uh, would you, you just plug that into the uh, mic? My, no, this is my... I brought my headphones. I didn't want to... Uh, Interrupt the uh, broadcast. Ah, okay. Uh, I, 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 I thought you were sure. like trying to charge it or something. <laughs> I haven't had too many drinks yet. Yeah, shit. I'm like, are you fucking trying to charge that? That's a headphone jack, man. That's a headphone jack, Jack. Um. All right, so. All right, yeah. So I just. Uh, following the feed online just to make sure uh, the clarity and the audio and all the uh, visual and everything looked looked good. Is it okay? It sounds great. Yeah, it looks sounds good. Sounds great. Looks I know. mean, uh, it's the two, you know, the two of us sexy bitches right. uh, in the same room, so it's going to look awesome. Right. Um, so, what we got is Mark Ford for Guns N' Roses. Uh, who's Mark Black Ford? Crows. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, it, but, but, you, you know, know who he is? Uh, yeah, I know he's from Black Crows. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, okay, yeah. yeah. Is the lead singer? It would have been or? okay as long as they didn't lose Slash. They could, you know. Slash whatever. Slash is Guns N' Roses, man. Slash is it, Guns N' Roses. Yeah, I mean, if I was to go to see Guns N' Roses, I wouldn't care if anybody Lucha else showed Slush. up. 
I just want to see Slash. Goofy Slash or whatever. Yeah. Fuck. yeah. I love the Slash. Gunther Slash. Gunther. That's a, a South Park reference. Oh, okay. Uh, Messiah Mark Colon. Okay for Ghost. Not, you know, whatever. Mm. Ghost is okay. I know some people. Uh, John doesn't like Ghost. John uh, Chester. Oh, John Chester. Yeah, he doesn't like Ghost at all. Oh, John Chester. I think they're okay. Chester. They're okay. Yeah. Ghost is okay. Um, you I know what it is? And is I'm, uh, you know, you know, looking for the next album. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what happens with John is that every time he thinks of Ghost, it brings him back to uh, the movie Ghost. Ah. Uh. And that is, <clears throat> it's a tearjerker. Yeah. You know. So, <laughs> nobody wants to admit that. Jason Bold, B O W L D, Bold. What? Yeah. That's weird. That's bold. Yeah. That is bold. Like, uh, uh, certain kind of almonds that I like to eat. Bold. Right. Or like the coffee that I like to drink. That's bold, too. Right. Well, like but, that trash man that was out here a couple weeks ago. He was pretty bold, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. He thought I lived here. Yeah, throwing fucking my asshole. fucking trash cans around. No, you need to blah, 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 blah. Fuck you. See, uh, yeah, and I told him he could fucking blow me backwards. That's right. I'll get you up like on the that. table. He could suck my dick and he could look at my asshole at the same time. <laughs> Toss my salad, so he baby. Knows exactly what the fuck he's doing. Stick that fucking nose in my butthole. He's blow been me backwards, there. motherfucker. He's been there. Yep, tuck and suck, baby. <laughs> so, but anyway, Jason Great. Bold, uh, drummer uh, uh-huh. for Ghost, and there again, I don't. Uh, okay, whatever. Right, Rory Gallagher of the Rolling Stones. I don't think anybody, you know, I mean, you know, Keith Richards or Alan or whatever. Um, all you old guys or whatever that you like Rolling Stones. I do not like Rolling Stones. Twenty seconds. You guys were talking about getting. Fucking going backwards. Yeah. Um, you missed it. It was great. But uh, Rory no, Gallagher, no, no, no. for uh, playing for the Rolling Stones, was asked to play for the Rolling Stones. And, you know, I don't think it would have mattered one way or another because, you know, it's Mick Jagger's show and the music, the music. Um, whatever. You know. Hey, I don't like the sound of the Rolling Stones either. Yeah. Uh, painted black or. You well, know, uh, it's, it's a different. Um, sucking painted, the devil's balls or whatever. Painted the fuck black it was. is probably the only one. You know, um, I like all the other ones. Are just <laughs> the thing is, it's um, you know, they it, it just kind of stopped. It didn't keep going. Yeah. You know, it's it's a certain um, generation. You know, right. it's a certain time frame. And like I said, music a is tough. Bunch of people that brought us uh, HIV. And yes. Cocaine. Yes. Cocaine. The hard way. And, yeah. yeah. Cocaine. Yeah, and then told us we can't do certain things. Yeah. No, I, oh, yeah. I know. I know who you're talking about. So, but so yeah, they can um, exploit um, their fans by asking for whatever they're asking for for ticket prices. Yeah. But yeah, why would you do that yeah. after you fully stat? You know, you got all this. Why would you like? Is the production going to be that expensive that you have to charge two hundred and fifty dollars for a fucking nosebleed seat? Yeah. No, they're hard up for money. You, you got to know this. They're, they're already broke. And whatever you're uh, you're uh, giving them, they've already spent it. That's you know, that's, that's what the it is. Thing. They're, and that's you know, the same keep thing. their kids fed, you know. Yeah, it's the same thing with Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Too, and all these other you know uh, hair bands or metal bands. Right. Uh, there are a lot yeah, of here's, a lot here's of a original good example. Band, a lot of bands. Like Iron Maiden doesn't do that shit. Here's a good example right here. Joey Kramer decides to take a break from Aerosmith. Look at him. Wow, he looks like he's about ready to drop dead anyway. Like, bro, you should have, what are you doing it for? Yes, Paul yes, Stanley yes. and Gene Simmons to pay tribute to Taylor Hawkins. Great. It's funny because we were just talking about the, uh, uh, Aerosmith. We were talking about Steven Tyler, actually. Yeah. Uh, he's missing about 10 years of his life because yeah. he did so many drugs, it fucked up his memory. Fucked his memory up. I can understand that. So the, there are huge swaths of time where uh, he doesn't remember his own daughter's childhood. Right. Wow. 
That's awesome. And he, he didn't have a good relationship with her anyway because he was constantly on people were doing blow and, you know, ignoring her. Mm-hmm. And now that the relationship is being repaired, <laughs> there's massive amounts of time that he was can't commit. Yeah. Well, what, what was the other thing he told me about uh, uh, playing a song? It was oh, him, yeah. him doing the song? Yeah, he, he, him and his... And him and Aerosmith were listening to, to a song. I don't remember what song. And Steven Tyler goes, hey, we should do a cover of this. And <laughs> every band member looks at him and goes, you're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking That's idiot. That's our song. Yeah, we should cover our own song. <laughs> he, had, he, he didn't remember writing it. He didn't remember ever performing it. Of course not. You know. Uh, so here's Dan something line. you might be interested in. Uh, Bruce Dickinson. Oh, right? Bruce Dickinson. Iron Maiden. Old Bruce. Uh, explain some Bruce. points about Iron Maiden's third studio album, The Number of the Beast. He mentioned why they did not use a usual singing booth while recording this album. Oh, nice. So evidently he used... A toilet? A toilet. Exactly right. No, it's not right, but that sounded good. Imagine, it, imagine it if you did use a toilet, it came out with like well, no, it came in, awesome. Well, no, you, it, the echo in the uh, bathroom, yeah. Yeah. There, there's a reason why people sound better when you sound better to yourself when you're in the bathroom. It's because the acoustics. Yeah, the acoustics. Come on. Yeah. I thought it was the mirrors. Well, that's why. No, that's why a lot of people think you sound awesome in the fucking shower. No, I don't sing in the shower. Yeah. I just masturbate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, constantly. You, Oh, you're you doing it right now. It's disgusting. I don't know where you get that. Stuff <laughs> <out of here. laughs> That's why I've fallen in the bathroom <laughs> twice. So it says here, uh, Number of the Beast was released March 22nd, 1982. Right. 40 years ago. Or, yeah, 40 years ago. Yeah, 40 years. I didn't do my math. <laughs> and it says here, uh, blah, 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 blah. I want to find out what he was That's using. That's weeks before I was born. About. Uh, I mentioned that your map is spot number on. of the beast was used as a bridge yes, between the worlds of rainbows rising and Black Sabbath's heaven and hell. So what did you use? Oh, a dilapidated kitchen. There we go. Nice. Well, it's the you know it's the acoustics. There he goes. That's uh, it. You know, well, if you find the means, then use it. Uh, a lot of it's tile. True. It's the the way tile reflects sound. It, Better. You're the engineer, so I'm going to go with what you say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no shit, you know. Well, it, it's because tile, it's the same, the same as the bathroom. It's because tile is such a smooth surface. You, even the, the rougher stuff is smoother than, you know, smoother right. than wood, smoother than drywall. It, it reflects sound, so mm. they end up, e- even if you, you could be way off note, and the way the sound, sound waves end up propagating and Clashing together mm-hmm. and harmonize. Yeah, no, well, makes sense. It, it does, and they they were showing. I don't know how true it is in the movie Doors, where Jim Morrison was actually singing on the toilet. <coughs> Speaking of uh, seeing an LA woman, eighties uh, <laughs> hair band washed up. Maybe not even eighties, but nineties, anyways. Washed up out of money bands. Uh, Skid Row is releasing their new album. Yeah. Is it with the new singer or? Probably. Odds are. Yeah, odds are. Um, um, not that I give two shits about Skid Row. <laughs> it's not not Same my much. genre. Um, but uh, there are the yeah. people that, that are on the podcast here that will be on the podcast here that like Skid Row and probably. Oh, I never said I like Skid Row. No, well, there are other, you know. But I did grow up with them. Yeah. Uh, that one album, whatever it was called, back in the day when I was stoned out of my mind and all that. Yeah. <laughs> the guy looks like he's got I meth mouth. I couldn't remember. Fake teeth and I'm shit. I'm surprised I remember the name of the, uh, the band. Oh, <laughs> yeah, anyway. Sebastian Bach's departure, the band continued, blah, blah. Yeah, that's... that's oh, so it is the new... Uh, it's the new guy, yeah. That isn't metal anyways, but what is metal is... Uh, here's clip of Scott Ian from Anthrax. What's he doing? 
Right. I spent a week with James Hetfield to mourn Cliff Burton's death, which must have been a huh, recent anniversary. A week with Hetfield. I mean, I, I love anthrax. I, yeah. I'm not going to go there. Because if you need to spend a week to get in touch with your feelings with with uh, Hetfield, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Uh, you know, I mean, I granted I'm not the grit your teeth and hide it away until I can mow down a bunch of fucking people years later yeah. kind of guy. But uh, I don't, you know, it's, I've come to grips with reality in life that uh, things are going to go the way they're going to go. You know, and I don't need to mourn with a bunch of people to, uh, you know, for over people that I don't even know. You know, I'm just wondering you know, if they had to spend a week with Hetfield, how close were these people? You know, if they all get together, you can imagine thousands of them get together and have a beer, hash out their shit, you know, every weekend. Well, I imagine that they had some history from earlier, uh, you know, previously. Right. You know. Well, you know, it's one thing to know somebody in passing. It's, it's another thing to be, you know, coming to their house and doing a podcast or having a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You know, I mean, that, that's Hawkins. the kind of thing, you know. I'd mourn your death, but, you know, but with people like Taylor Hawkins or, you know, with Tom Petty, I was, it, was, it sucked. It, it blew out my fucking day, you know. It was yeah. a day. You well, know, because, that, because now that's a guy that was on my bucket list, my metal, or yeah. not metal, but just music. But my music bucket list that I wanted to see, and uh, you know, he's, he's a real talent. Well, I mean, not to mention, I mean, he was he's been around since what the seventies, late seventies, I think. Yeah. So he was a good, huge chunk of your childhood, and he was a massive chunk of mine. Yeah. <laughs> not to mention yeah, the uh, not work not that he did with around, the uh, traveling Wolverines. Yeah, it was fantastic. Really great project. Yeah, I've been listening to a little bit of country here and there, and I'm what? talking about like old shit like the Highwaymen. Well, that's real country. That's like fucking yeah. real country, like Johnny Cash. Yeah, and, fuck this new country and, uh, pop Chris shit. Chris Christopherson and Willie yeah. Nelson. And yeah, Chris Christopherson. Yeah, that's that's cool, man. I mean, I kind of thought when I was younger it was a goof because I saw him on fucking Blade and shit. I'm like, yeah, that's yeah. fucking douchebag. He was on fucking. Um, the trucking movie, um, Convoy, Convoy, and a few others. I'm like, ah, this fucking guy singing shit. He was actually not too bad. Yeah, he seemed more like an actor than he did a singer. When he was a right, guy. right, oh, right. But uh, you know, he's uh, he's been singing longer than he's been he's acting. Been, yeah, but uh, I hear him in the Highwaymen with Johnny Cash and yeah. and Waylon Jennings, and you know, it's just fucking good shit, man. It's too bad and that you Farron know, Young didn't last that long. Yeah. But. Um, all, all the old original country, I can, you know, there's a lot of rebel shit in there, man. Hell like, yeah. Like uh, rebellious, like, it's the, some of that is the country's metal, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, and that's, that's, yeah, it's really, you know, speaking out against shit or, or you know, this is fucking wrong. Well, uh, a lot we of like that, to party, we like to drink, we like to do, you know, like our guns, shit. we like our freedom. Uh, a lot of that old, older country really, it didn't follow a script like it does now. Right. Where pretty much everybody does the same crap. It more followed a person who's lived a certain way and is pretty much telling everybody everybody uh, the story of their life. Right. And, and w what to do and what not to do. And right. That shit. Well, I mean, you got, like, the song that I play a lot. And unfortunately, I have to play it a lot because I, I play it every time somebody gets fired at work or... Or not fired, but <laughs> quits. <laughs> quits, quits, or you know, just quits, whatever. At work, I I play uh, uh, take this job and shove it, Johnny Paycheck. Mm. Yep, I play it fucking loud. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I also uh, play Queens, another one bites the dust, <laughs> because people have had a fucking enough. Yeah. You know, um, it's only so long you could you know get smacked around. But uh, you know that that's saying a lot. You know, take this job and shove it. Well, motherfucker, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's saying. You know, statement. if it would have been a metal song, it would have been, you know, people would be playing it today. I mean, I'm sure they play Take This Job and Shove It Today through the country music stations, but 
it should be on regular radio anyway, all the time, in, in each station. That's a good song. But, uh, yeah. Um, so what else we got in the news? Uh, I know there is a... Not just the Rob Zombie, there is a, another concert. I think it's a Testament concert, and that's what we were talking about. Mm. Um, it's the Bay... Uh, shit. Uh, uh, the Bay Strikes Back? Is it the, the Bay? bay? The Bay Strikes Back. I like a Tampa, movie? You know? No, 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 no. But like the movie. But it's like Tampa Bay, Tampa, you know? Oh. Um, Tampa, Florida. Right. The Bay. Well, that's that's the thing. Tampa, Florida is supposed to be like the hub for metal music in Florida. So, the Bay. I was thinking yeah. of... Uh, the Bay Strikes Back to her. The, um, the movie, quick reference, Game Over, Dude. Right. Uh, where they had the Bay. Right. Uh, it was a famous rapper. And then got his uh, salad tossed by the stranger because they were being... Right, uh, right, by, yeah. <laughs> remember? <laughs> no. No, it's just funny to hear that. It's fucking great. You gotta watch it. Yeah. Yeah, so game over, dude. No, no, if I can get it up here, I know it's... Whoa, 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 like whoa. Testament and Exodus um, are playing the Bay Strikes Back. I think there's... What's the name? Fucking A, man. Exodus, I would love to see. Um, but I've heard that uh, Anthrax has had, in the past, one of the largest circle pits Yeah. ever. Well, I mean, come on. Um, but no, it's okay. The base strikes back is tes- Testament, Exodus, and Death Angel. Oh, Death Angel, I would love to see. Yeah, no, I it, have not it, seen yeah, that. It's it's that's gonna be that's gonna be a hell of a show. Um, no, but with the test New Testament lineup, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but that's okay. I mean, you know, you got you know, most of things change, yeah, things change, shit happens, yeah, of course. So it's April 25th in Orlando. But um, I, I'll g- actually go down the list of um, the Bay Strikes Back Tour. Uh, San Luis Obispo, California, shithole. Anaheim's okay. That's, you know, Disney style. That's probably in the Honda Center down there. Uh, San Diego, that's okay. Because uh, I am from California. And so is Jesse here. Yep. Um, this, this one's from New Hampshire. Don't say that out loud. Okay. I'm a New Englander. New Englander. But anyway. Oh, that's how it goes when your great, 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 great grandfather is shuttle immigrants from Scotland over to Prince Edward Island. That's my, how I came to be. Now, did he do that to have sex with them? or Some of them, probably, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, at least you're not uh, too ashamed of it. You probably had a few different uh, family members you never heard about. Uh, William Wallace McDonald. (laughs) MC, though. No shit. Not MAC. Or one or the other. I can't, I don't know. I'm not willing to give up my DNA just yet. (laughs) Unless it's to that right, you know, person. Right person. (laughs) At the moment. But, uh, yeah, that's what they uh, used to, I guess, used to do and yeah, no, that's cool, man. Bring a, bring all the immigrants in. We're trying bring to bring them all into New York City. Up. It's a better place yeah. then than it was now. Than it is now. Yeah, yeah. No, it's actually back when we uh, needed uh, some good people, and we got good people. Right. Yeah. Um, we'll work for potatoes. I'm not saying yeah. most of the people that uh, come over are, are shit, but uh, it's different wow. than it was in the. Yeah, it's way different you know. from what it was. We had a lot of hardworking people coming in. That wanted to work hard and wanted to make something of themselves. That's right. Now we're getting a little too political, aren't we? No, that's not that bad. That's just a surface. Oh, shit. But uh, oh, we got uh, Las Vegas on the 13th of April. What's up? Yeah, fuck cocksucker. Uh, I'm not going to mention any names. Lars Erlerick. Oh, uh, what did he do this time? He's just a douchebag. Oh, he said they would try. Oh, sorry. Never mind. So they would, they would do, do what? Did it, did it? He swore that when tr- President Trump would be elected, that he was going to leave the United States of America. Still waiting. Uh, waiting for a lot of people to do that. Yeah, He's waiting for a lot San of people Francisco, to do that. Still Francisco, yanking on James Hetfield's dick. I yeah. mean, 
talking yeah. metal. I mean, yeah, you're, you're talking about if that. you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be metal, you'd be metal and you fucking do it. Yeah, I, I figured you're talking yeah. about him spitting on a fan or something. Yeah, that happens too. Yeah, he's because he's one of these entitled. He's a tough, you know, tough guy. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Real tough guy. And, yeah, he used and to he, he used like to play tennis in uh, in Denmark as a young lad, and then uh, his father, his daddy, bought him a drum set, and he came to all his fortune and fame. And now he shits all over everything that... Everything and everybody. Yeah. Um, well, I think that he's a, he seems like the kind of guy. And yes, I do like some of the music. Uh, he seems like the kind of guy that picks a fight. I don't run behind somebody's fucking back, like Hetfield or somebody that's a decent size. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know, I've had that shit happen to me where I'm like, dude, I don't want to fucking deal with this. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, but he seems like that kind of guy. You know, nobody's, uh, and everybody, and I think the metal community, you know, if the if they found the right tough guy or the right guy to fuck with, yeah, uh, that that shit wouldn't happen because they'd knock their fucking teeth down their throat. Mm-hmm. You know, some guys are, you know, we just want to go to a show, be passive, be cool, mm-hmm. get, you know, jump in a fucking pit, uh, you know, enjoy the fucking music, but you know. You got fucking people like that, man. This is a story of a... Just sing the fucking song, you tap dance, you fucking monkey. That's right. <laughs> you know, back that's it. The, back you know, that's the all the pain you dance, to fucking do. I don't want, I want you to lecture me about shit. And if Check you this out. fucking country, don't come back. Paralyzed man uses novel brain implant to ask to hear tool. Oh, a- nice. ALS patient used electrodes to request his favorite music played loud. Tool, huh? Like that was his last request, you know what I mean? Yeah, why not? Tool, hey, I mean, yeah, fuck it. You know, okay, some why not? people. Tool's good. Tool's okay. You know, circle. Uh, Perfect circle. They're very eccentric. Yeah. You know, they they definitely. Kind of like a system of a down eccentric. Well, it's yeah. it. Yeah. They are. <laughs> no, I'm not saying they're the same fucking thing. System of a down is eccentric. Yeah. In what way? They're well, they just are. They just they're, they're an outlet. If you ever watch the, the weird music videos, yeah, you ever watch any shit? Their lyrics like really pay attention. They're weird, outlandish, freaking uh, yeah, outlandish shit. Yeah, but yeah. like Tool plays music through math equations and shit like that. Yeah, no, but you can be eccentric in different ways. Got you. You know, you're not the same fucking way. Right. The Tool's like you know, again, they've got their thing and they like their thing. Just trying yeah. to figure it out, like system of a down. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Huh. But yeah, tool <laughs> is tool is eccentric. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah. It's funny. I, I don't know. I, I imagine if either one of you guys were were uh, had ALS or were vegetable in in, in a way. Uh huh. Uh, I'd imagine you guys would just ask to, for some of the higher up hookers. <laughs> yeah, why not? Wow, good well, call. Well, I wouldn't have to hire a hooker. I got good call you know, in I here. I got your mama. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I probably would have to have you hire me a hooker. Uh, Thank you, engineer. I want to get my fuck on one last time. That's right. And Actually, I, I, I would take it a step further and say most fans have had extensions. Mm. But so because, yeah, they have... Uh, Different behaviors, mm-hmm. unconventional, and that's why that's the thing with Tool. It's really an unconventional deal. Yeah. Um, and that's really that's why you say system down because that is pretty unconventional shit too. Um, and strange, you know. And you could say uh, Rob Zombie's eccentric too. Yeah. And Static X and all those guys because it is unconventional and strange. Yeah, you yeah. have to you have to be a, a certain mindset and a, and a certain kind of. Um, yeah, you know, and, something yeah, weird. Especially seeing, yeah. you know, uh, having a certain sound. Yeah, I mean, it's the sound, really, is, is what it is. Um, you got aerials. I mean, I know it's a popular song, but yeah, um, that's unconventional sound to it. Totally. Yep. Agreed. Um, but a lot of tool. You're right. It is really even more so. Yeah, but no, you're right too in the fact that. Uh, you know, these artists are, are unconventional and, and uh, 
they are eccentric and and they have to push the boundaries of their creativity to be able to right. to find something that sounds new and fresh. You're not going to find any band that sounds like Mudvayne necessarily, or ACDC, or ACDC, or, or even Iron Maiden's you know, changed out Iron Maiden, uh, over the past uh, few albums. Unless it's a cover band, but you don't hear that shit unless you're yeah. at a local bar. So oh. you got a point there. You know they do have uh, distinct uh, qualities that that. Uh, yeah, others don't. You know, and others don't. Would never yeah. Be a stand if I in yeah, well, and a lot of people want to punch you in the face for that because they like Bon Scott. Um, I like Bon Scott. I like them equally, and I think um, they would have eventually ended up with a guy like Brian Johnson anyway. Oh boy. Um, I mean, because they, I love Brian Johnson. Bottom line is I, his last I actually, I, I'd say right. he is my favorite out of all of them. And that may get me punched in the fucking face well, they, this evening. They tried to have fucking um, Axl Rose. And he, you, you know what? For doing Axl Rose, which I figured you can call well, it a cover, but you can call it ACDC because they own the name ACDC. Well, it, it, if, they, if they did a collaboration, if they were going to have him as the lead singer. Right, but they he because Brian Johnson's gone, but he covered, basically it's like Axl Rose and a cover band. Yeah. yeah, and he. I'm not saying he did bad, and he did. Oh, he did good. He did. You know, yeah, it he, just wasn't. It, it wasn't Brian Johnson. It, yeah, it wasn't Brian Johnson. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't Bon Scott. What you knew of ACDC. And you know, from what anybody knows about ACDC, they hear a couple albums of Bon Scott, and they're like, "Oh my God, it's fucking you know enough to die for." I'm like, "Well, hey, you know what? Brian Johnson did a fantastic fucking job. Yeah, he did a wonderful fucking job." And uh, I don't think they would have had the success that they had without Brian Johnson. Because it, it I mean, I went to a fucking ACD show. It was, it was awesome. Never been. But, uh, but then again, I, I never experienced Von Scott live either. But, and I've heard the music and it sounded like they had a lot of fun. Mm. And just like with uh, Brian Johnson. But uh, I, I don't condemn either one of them. I, and I praise them both. I'm just sad to see one of them go, but I, I still think... Them, I, I see them both came. equally as ACDC. Yeah. No, they are ACDC, yeah. I thought Brian Johnson came back, so I, kn- I know he was losing his... Yeah, I heard he was... Him. Yeah, he, I heard he was coming back. I wonder if he got a cochlear implant or something. He might have. So he could shut it off. <laughs> Look at that neural link. You can hear that everything. Neural link, yeah. Oh, that... I, it bummed me out when I heard um, Huey Lewis, Grand Not Metal, but Huey Lewis went deaf. Yeah, Huey Lewis the shit. That, you know, I know it's not very that upset me. But, you know, all the I grew up, you know, with, with a lot of that stuff, Huey Lewis and yeah. a lot of metal and yeah. it was on the radio. It's hard not to fucking hear Huey Lewis and, no. and a lot of these or like yeah. fucking the douchebag the boss, uh what's his fucking name? Bruce Springsteen. Bruce yeah. Dick a Springsteen. Big shout out to Bruce. Bruce. Fuck you. Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, Bruce. Yeah, that, that it'd be really difficult, especially Back in the 80s, he would lose some news everywhere. Well, yeah. here's the thing. A lot of people make fun of I think Huey Lewis is more uh, than Bruce Springsteen. I'll take ear earplugs to a show, no problem. Like fucking Billy Joel at that time, too. I think he's more than Bruce Springsteen. I think he's way fucking overrated. Billy Joel? No, Bruce Springsteen. I think Billy, Billy Joel is great. a great real piano, fucking cool dude. Man. Next Just to like Elton John, Lewis. obviously. We're getting away from metal. but, but the, uh, It's still a metal perspective. It is. This is our perspective on, and we like metal. That's on, it. And it's so, I was always a fan of Billy Joel, uh, and I always loved, uh, you know, the piano. And, yeah. And uh, what's the first band, metal band, that you can include uh, plays piano in some form or another? Iron Maiden. Many. Yes, there are many. Iron Maiden. Yeah, he, they, they got a don't. keyboardist. A yep. lot of people don't know that, yep. but uh, they do. Yeah, hell yeah. They've had a keyboardist for a very long fucking time. Yep. So there's another one I was thinking about. There's a bunch of them now. Yeah, there's a bunch, and there's a lot to be said. And about they, that they granted, place. they're not on stage, uh, which would be kind of a little, little weird seeing a uh, keyboardist on fucking stage. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking metal concert. What the fuck is the keyboardist doing up there? Yeah. He's Doesn't up there really with fucking high fit, heels playing the fucking piano. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see that shit. You nope. want to see fucking you people run around the stage, fucking 
Yeah, you know, know, rocking the fuck out, yeah. man, thrashing shit, and doing a fucking show. Okay, you know, then. hugging the fucking guitarist. You know, having panties thrown at him. You know, all kinds of shit. Yes. Well, nobody's gonna throw panties at a fucking keyboardist. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw my panties. I, I mean, that, my underwear at the keyboardist. Except for that one girl. Actually, I'm I'm a commando kind of guy. Hey. But, uh, yeah. No. Who's no shorts are these? Yeah. Oh, once the shorts <laughs> come off, that, you've got everything. Yeah. So, but anyway, with the uh, Death Angel uh, Exodus and Testament, I didn't uh, even finish uh, going down one list. Uh, yeah, scroll down. That was a long ass freaking tangent. Yeah, that was a bit of a tangent. Uh, Tucson, April fifteenth. Albuquerque, sixteenth. Uh, uh, Oklahoma, the nineteenth of April. Moving east. Yeah, Houston, twentieth. Austin, twenty first. Twenty twenty second is Dallas. Twenty third is New Orleans. So they're making their way over. Making their way they're down, and then they just slip down to the top, big fat cock of the United States. Yeah. Gulf oh, Florida. Right. Big ass fucking penis. Yeah. Um, right down to um, New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. New Orleans on wow. the 23rd of April. Mm -hmm. Orlando the 25th. Atlanta, Georgia the 26th. So they go down. So they go through New Orleans down and then back up. Oh, shit. Yes. Um, Raleigh, North Carolina, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Actually, what? it's that way. Uh, Sayreville, New Jersey. Come on, come on. Where the fuck are and you going? And why the fuck are you going to Baltimore? Fuck Baltimore. Boston uh, on May 2nd. Baltimore is actually on May 1st. Uh, Boston, they're probably going to Great Woods. Boston, uh, well, maybe, yeah. May 2nd, Philadelphia, the 3rd. So basically... They're going up you're, and down. You're going up, and then you're back. You're back down. So they're not coming until June, until summer. Into Huntington, New York. So you're going to do all the way up there, come down past New York, go to Pennsylvania, and then go right back up to New York on May 5th. Who's their manager, really? Yeah, I don't know. Buffalo, New York, and then you're going up. Or Huntington, New York. I don't know where that is. What's Huntington? It's in New York. York. Yeah, it's in New York. Fuck, that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, May 7th, Cincinnati, Ohio, Pittsburgh. A bet, going to Cincinnati and then back to fucking Pittsburgh, mm. uh, Pennsylvania. So you, you're going up, down, up, over, and then back. Uh, yeah, with to fuel Pittsburgh on uh, May 9th. Yeah, that's a real efficient route. Um, Cleveland, Ohio on the 10th. Columbus, Ohio on the 11th. Detroit. That's a pretty Joliet, heavy schedule. Yeah, Joliet twice, 14th and 15th. He must rock the fuck out. Holy shit. In Where Joliet. Is that? Uh, Illinois. Illinois? Yeah. You know, Joliet Jake from Blue Oh, Brothers, Blue. yes. Yep. Uh, here, Crowder and Dave Landau are going to be out there. Oh, sweet. Uh, Minneapolis on the 17th. Denver, okay. Colorado on the 19th. Salt Lake City. So you're, you're, you're doing like over, a and then you're going to go down Salt Lake City. On May twentieth, and then you're gonna go right back up to Seattle on the twenty second, and down to Portland. Why the fuck are they going to Portland? Uh, fuck Portland. Oh, fucking fuck Portland. Portland on the twenty third, and then back down to Sacramento. So you you're going from San Luis Obispo, Obispo going all the way around, around up, back, over, up, and then down. Sacramento I don't understand how Florida is not included in this equation. So well, far. Florida is on the 25th, and only one show, April 25th, on in, in Orlando. Orlando. Orlando, which is kind of funny if you want to say the Bay Strikes Back tour is at the which bay? So anyway, uh, so it looks like the Bay Strikes Back is is California. I would say so. San Francisco Bay. But you now San Francisco think it would have been Tampa, be, but there's uh, no Tampa in there. Yeah, well Tampa's not a bay really either, is it? Tampa Bay. That's the theme though. Yeah, but well it's still Tampa. Is there a bay? Is yeah, Tampa? there is a bay. There is? Yeah. Kind of like never been the, there. It's not like like um, Sacramento or anything, but there is a bay. There, it is a bay. <clears throat> so San Francisco used to be another great place for metal. 
like uh, Metallica when they first started out. Well, now yeah, yes and no, they're but, full you of know, homeless people. Homeless people and, shitting uh, and pissing all over the place. Shitting and pissing and masturbating in the streets. Yeah, I haven't seen, and, um, since, seen some of those videos too. You know that they it's quite interesting. I uh, throw dollars on that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dirty Mike and the Boys. Oh yeah, Dirty Mike and the Boys. We you you might have experienced this when uh, when you had your ex- when you were out there, but um, I know, experienced Angel Stadium. Oh, and is that, that like Angel? Hall, is that like uh, Angel Dust? You're done. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Like um, California Angels. Yeah. Right? Or L.A. Angels of Anaheim, whatever the fuck they want to call themselves now, yeah. the Anaheim Angels, which is what it should be. That's offensive. Um, but uh, yeah, no, right behind there in the riverbed. Um, oh, don't and tell it's me it's a story. military built riverbed to get equipment down during World War Two. Oh. All the way down down to um, into Huntington Beach, between Huntington Beach and Costa Mesa. But that is the Santa Ana River Trail, and. Uh, up and down that river trail there for a while and I'm not sure today because I haven't been there in a while and I haven't seen it and I don't know the news and I try not to fucking it's hard not to pay attention I love California what it was what it was I hate it now um it, it, I was born there but uh it was a homeless encampment behind Angel Stadium yep it was a total shithole um, I don't know if there's... I'd have gone through there with fucking napalm and a fucking flamethrower, man. I don't know if they're still For down real? behind the stadium. I do know they're, they're still farther along on, on the riverbed. Oh, they're, they're up and down that whole fucking riverbed. Uh, so this must have been a law when you were there. You usually going from Fountain Valley into Santa Ana, that bridge. They're sit yeah. there, usually sit there now. Oh, yeah, they usually sit there and beg for shit and... Sleep and fuck up under the, the road, yeah. the bridges. So, it is a law now that you can uh, you can live in your car. Yeah. Your car can be your so, residence. Just right. so you know, everybody, the homeless shelters that California advertises on uh, on TV, that shit doesn't really happen. Yeah. No, they, you, they, you were likely to get facade. stabbed or robbed in a homeless shelter. Yeah. A homeless person maybe will get stabbed or robbed in a homeless I just like to uh, go go visit there one of these days and just walk the beach without worrying about stepping on fucking needles and shit. Or shit. Yeah, it's a or shit. You know. And the, well, I did say and shit. Stepping on needles and shit. And shit. It uh, is a, actually shit encompassed everything, but yeah. <coughs> it is or was a beautiful state. Like oh, it is. Like uh, demographically, geographically, uh, but it's the the well, people. You know, that have destroyed it. You haven't overrun the, the government people that, that destroyed it. That do not contribute to the state. Yep. And you have a state that does not give a shit about the people who are contributing. Well. And they don't give a shit about the businesses. Uh, I think it was two years ago. They, um, the, there's a big illegal immigration thing out there. What? Officer. Well, California, California wanted to ship in another 100,000 into Santa Ana. Why not? I think they should send them to uh, D.C. Yeah. <laughs> and what are you drinking there? Cuddy Sark, you say? Yeah, it's a little bit of Cuddy. A little bit of Cuddy. Want some? No, I'm good. I have uh, Johnny Walker out there if I wanted to. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, <laughs> I can, but I do not have a nice glass like that because oh, my, so my kitchen is still under construction. Yeah. Hey, you get the nice glass. You'll get there soon. Yeah, it'll get there soon. <laughs> That story's about what that is the uh, yeah. people pull their heads out of their asses? Yeah, yeah. People here work. It's a whole different animal from California to here. Yeah. Um, people work slower. People are not in a hurry to get anything done. That, yeah, talk about it. I can deal with that. It's just the laziness. I can't. You know, it's like you're gonna take your time doing it. That's fine. But when they're fucking lazy, uh, overlook small, or not. I wouldn't say small deal details. Not even mundane details. <laughs> Um, just it's details. A redesign of fucking yeah. In some cases. And like when you, when you put something together and you see the colors are off. Yeah. And you leave it there. I mean, what the fuck? Are you yeah, lying? I'm, Nobody gives. Well, oh, then again, if you've seen the guy who uh, uh, put our cabinets in, he's got one fucking eye. Uh, he's a one. Oh, he's he's so he does have. A he's got like eye. a milky eye. <laughs> I'm like, you can't see the cow, and, and you're like. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's not like Walleye John, is he? Uh, but that, 
But that, that's so the like, thing when it comes to showing If I was him, I'd wear a fucking eye patch. Yeah. That'd be bad as shit. You'd yeah. look good with an eye patch. Would I? Yeah. 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 I'll Very have to do that. Mostly left I'll eye. I'll have to wear my, uh, my uh, America hat, my uh, cowboy hat. You'd either look like a pirate or a conquistador. A conquistador. A conquistador. 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 Right. Uh, I'll that, those up. That's the thing from California to here is if you got a business as, as high end or, or you, you know what I mean, as well known as the one that's doing our kitchen now in California, they would damn sure do exactly what the customer wants because they don't want to lose their reputation. The, the shitheads that are just shitheads are going to try and scam you one way or the other. But right. when you get someone who's, who's supposedly reputable, the customer wants customer gets. That's right. It's just the way it works. You know, we've had a guy come in and where he's getting at on that is come in and say, hey, yeah, I think, you know, the popular thing right now is doing this and we should do this. I'm like, well, wait a minute here. This is my fucking kitchen, motherfucker. Yeah. I want it this way. I don't give a fuck if uh, the president says everybody should have a kitchen like this. You can do it my way, and I pay for it. That's like the tattoo artist. They won't ex- accept any any drawings of mm. individuals. You come in with your drawing, you're like, hey, this is what I want. No, I don't think that is what you want. I think what you want is this. See, that's, what? that's what I like the guy and, who did my tattoo. That's, that's what I'd like to know is if I put my legs on your back and had you suck my dick, how, how well of a tattoo could you give me? <laughs> you know, so either you're gonna give me this, or I'm walking the fuck out of here, or I'm gonna step on your back. You know, like I've designed my shit. Yeah. You know, and I won't go to a fucking place that doesn't do my. Hey, design. look who's here! Uh, hey, it's Trish. The, hey, the Trish. Guy, the or guy Alex, guy. as we call her. Alex. What? Uh, Alex. Alex. No, she, Have you heard that story? Yeah, she's. I don't know. Hey, you want Alex. to tell it? She. Her name's Alexandria. I said this to be that. She no, it wasn't no, supposed, supposed to be. To be. Well, well, your name is supposed to be what your well is. hello, Alex. <laughs> they were debating. That there was, debate there was debate for her to be uh, Alex. There was also Naomi and other names, That's too. That's nasty. Let's not do that. Nasty. Think, uh, no. All Angel right. Alejandro. Hello, Alex. Nasty Naomi. I love you, sweetheart. Love you, too. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Even though you don't ever come and visit any of us, ever. Wow. This is the first time in a year. <laughs> you want to sit down and uh, have a chat? No, she didn't. Oh, okay. She's all, nope, I'm good. I'm off the camera. Fuck you guys. <laughs> We're on the interwebs right now. Hey, you can take my, my chair so I don't have to be on camera. Okay. Oh, no, because that bitch is not fucking yeah, turning his camera on. Yeah, you're fucking leaving. I have it set up <laughs> for him to turn his camera on. He doesn't want the audience to see his well, face. I'm also leaning over like this. Like well, that's your fault. Fucking... You know, we need to get you a mic stand so we can stick it in your face like a we big We got two dick. mic stands cool. right here. I, I don't want to fucking... No, but I mean, no, I'm talking like a, like a musician's fucking deal, so it comes in on the side and you go, play the, the computer, go, yeah, man, <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> you totally need to do that. Like, no, or totally like uh, fucking, what's his face, um, Elton John. Oh, yeah. Cracking <laughs> band. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or Stevie Wonder. Yeah. You should, uh, yeah, even well, I the camera doesn't see you. I wouldn't put you. shit in front of Stevie Wonder, he'd knock yeah. the fuck over. <laughs> just, you don't have to be blind. Just put sunglasses on. Yeah, put sunglasses on. <laughs> you can wear always wear kiss makeup. <laughs> yeah, it's just two of us. You know how we can wear. We, we like kiss around here. Kiss what is not bad. Hey, uh, John wanted to watch Halo. Well, John wanted to watch Halo. Yes, John wanted to watch Halo. Yeah. If John Chester's That's watching. Okay. I hope. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I hope it's video. good, John. Oh, he's probably got his hands down in Jaime's shorts. <laughs> wow. No, he, it wouldn't be his shorts. It'd be up his dress. That's right, up his dress. Yeah. Because Jaime likes to dress in drag. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're messing with anyway. you. Anyway. No, we, 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 I, love, I love them both. Just messing with you, Chester. Uh, but, you uh, can't laugh at yourself. You can laugh at laugh that's myself right. every day. You laugh at yourself every day in the mirror. I myself in the mirror naked. <laughs> and I, I, I insult the injury, not just laughing at you. Well, when you have clothes on, it's fine, but once you take them off, yeah, once I take white. that off and I look down, I'm like, it's sick. get a good chuckle. I'm like, man, the bush, the little man, it's how the did biggest. I two kids? <laughs> <laughs> look at this fucking piece of mess. <laughs> this yep. is diverged from what it used to be. Yeah, this is a woo, woo. 
That seems a far cry from what it used to be. <laughs> you had a long road, didn't you, buddy? That's right. Uh, nice. All right, another wild, wild tangent there for you. Just let you know it's not scripted. Was that liquid? Yes. That was scotch. Scotch. Mm. Yes, he does. I do? Yeah. I go, go ahead and go grab the green on the... Uh, oh, my gosh. Johnny Walker. Yeah, he's getting a tree. Johnny Walker green. Get some, that, uh, get some of that... Get some good shit. That, Unless you're gonna spend two hundred. Get some of that coon finger fucking ice cubes too, please. <laughs> uh yeah. Um, oh, unless oh, you're shit. actually gonna go spend the two hundred dollars, uh, the I think probably the best Johnny Walker. I do like the the gold. I do like the um, reserve or the reserve or whatever the hell they call. Yeah, they changed. They seem to change it all they, the time. They change that one all the time. Yeah. But I but green. Is the way to go. Sixty fucking dollars. I, I haven't had the gold. I didn't get that. Well, there's gold right out there. there. I, I thought the gold was gone. I thought. It's no, we have full bottle, of, or I wouldn't say a full bottle, uh, like three drinks or four drinks that come out of the gold that's and the platinum and the blue's almost gone. And that's what I'm talking about. Well, that the blue's been green's around. not going to beat the blue. No. The blue is is like that's heaven, and that's that's a treat. That's like a birthday or Christmas treat, and that bottle's two years well, old. Well, yeah, you, you don't get that burn. I mean, drink sometimes. No, that, 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 you don't get that burn. It's incredibly smooth. The only thing that stops you from drinking a lot of it is the price. Yeah. You know, that's and right. It's like, it, it will, I mean, if you didn't give a shit about the price, it goes down like water. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's well, fucking tastes awesome. Even if you gave a shit about the price, you're yeah. going to just do like a one and done. Like, I got this 750 milliliter bottle of blue I just paid two ten sixty five for, <clears throat> and it's going to be gone in a weekend. Well, it is what it is. Come yeah, on. well, you know, I mean, unless you're going to drink into a stupor, and, then, and that's what I don't <laughs> recommend. I mean, if you're going to start, you start with the blue, and then you end up with the fucking black or the double black or the red. Because you want to just, you, know, you want to get a glow on. You don't want to be blackout drunk on that shit, because it ain't yeah. worth it. No, yeah, it's, it's too not. expensive. And you're like, oh shit, man! I got all I remember is one fucking drink out of it, and the night's yeah. gone. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the bottle's empty. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. No, start on start on Why something good. If you more? like the flavor, start on a good, and then and waste it on something else. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so you can yeah because the flavor's worth good. it. You know, kicked off the fucking night. <clears throat> and uh, definitely a good thing to note with the blue is, is uh, at least for me, it's kind of like Crown Royal, where yeah. you don't water it down. Uh, as soon as you put any kind of water, like ice or anything like that, it just kind of messes with the taste. Mm. Yeah. For for me, just drinking it straight is the best. Yeah. 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 One or two ice cubes work on it. Did you grab the drink? Did it? Yeah, she already poured it. She forgot. No, you already poured it. Yeah, she grabbed grabbed the green. Oh no, he did. She he she brought she brought it in and served him. She actually poured it. Yeah. I was gonna say. You know, instead of shoving Where it up the his ass. He was dude. <laughs> wow. And he's here, he almost drank it all. Listen, he already had it. I was focused on other shit. But I, I am going to try other, you know, Hennessy and, and some of the other ones. Jameson. John Yak? Uh, no, the uh, other scotch. Hennessy's, uh... uh... No, I'm sorry. Fuck, Jameson is what I meant. Oh, that's uh, Irish whiskey. Yeah. Not scotch. Well, I'm going to try all these. That's Irish whiskey for me is blackout whiskey. Uh, yeah, that's it. that shit puts me on my ass. I can't drink too much of that. Yeah, well. But I'll tell you what, as far as scotches go, because I'm Scottish, so I should know. I was born in the Highlands. And, and as well. <clears throat> I was born in the Highlands, and I, I was raised by wolves. So, <laughs> <clears throat> um, believe it or not, Dewar's huh. is a really finely crafted blended whiskey. Yeah. It really is. And these guys that are all about scotch, like, Mark Mason. Yeah. These single malt guys that are like, single malt. You know, it comes from one barrel over 12 years or something. Big fucking deal. Yeah. The ones that have to blend it, they take this one and that one and this one and that one. And they put it into fucking a uniform, nice. Right. You know, that's, that is key. That is an artwork. You know, that is an artwork. More so than just pouring it out of a fucking jug. Yeah, it's a single, right. single malt. Well, you're you're also banking on a good batch, you know, and it and it being good. I mean, you can taste during the the fermenting, yeah, um, or at, you know at the end or whatever. 
Well, they have um, a process down too. Yeah, you know, but but it's never you know you still have barrels. Yeah, you can still get moldy barrels. You can still get a uh, your white oak can be you know not not as flavorful, you yeah, know, sugary. Um, you'd have more vanilla hint to it, or you can sure. have more you know whatever. But um, to thing try I'll... to be consistent with a blended whiskey, it's tough. Is or splendid scotch it is really tough. Like the blue, I'm like, how in the fuck did this bottle taste a lot like you, you notice like very, very slight differences? But yeah. Yeah, it's just the trip that it one this bottle tastes like this one. And I've run through two bottles of blue, and no, it's two bottles, very two similar. Bottles of blue, Same. yeah. Then they were, I'm like, I was shocked. The quality is just, yeah, the quality is on. but then again, you're paying. Two hundred dollars for a bottle of. So you should expect that. Yeah, I would expect it. Yeah, but, but I do I'd also expect with blends they'd be slightly off. Yeah. As as long as they're not off in a bad way. No, no, right. You no, know? but the thing I like about Dewar's I think the most is it's got like a peat moss kind of smoky flavor. It goes great in coffee. For whatever reason, yeah. put an ounce of that in your coffee. That's just heaven. It's really good. It really tastes. Maybe it was McMillan I was thinking of. McMillan? Yeah. Was it McMillan? Is the other That's one? That's another one, yeah. 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 I know it's, yeah, you know, it's just other scotches I'm going to try. Yeah. Uh, but I've been I've been impressed with Johnny Walker. And well, and rightfully so because they have an awesome name. Right. One of the things the, that I didn't quite like about Johnny Walker was a recent commercial. Uh, was a woman with a top hat and a cane. Uh, that wasn't too, you know, that wouldn't bother me so much as long as they weren't, you know. It's not Jenny Walker. Propaganda. Yeah, well. It's Johnny Walker. If somebody wants, you know, wants, likes Johnny so much she's going to dress like Johnny. That I'll be fine with that. Um, but don't <laughs> try to change my shit. Um, people do that. Kids do it. You know, they dress up like your favorite porn star. That's or called Halloween. Army rock Joe. star. <laughs> or monster or whatever. You know, people do that all the time. There's a lot of cosplay. Significant difference. <clears throat> I, th- th- I think the, that's what the, I want to do to a, at a Comic-Con. Significant difference from a Cuddy. Yeah. Yeah, I would say same. Yeah. Cuddy is like... I'm not I'm not going to bash Cuddy. It's like the... Uh, it's not bothering me. Jim Beam yeah, of... It's, yeah. Of scotches. Well said. Yeah. Yeah. And Jim Beans good. Yeah. That's a lot better than Jack Daniels. Sorry. Oh, sour mash. Actually, is I'm horrible. not fucking sorry. Yeah. Don't I just sorry. don't like fucking Jack Daniels. Sour mash is horrible. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fucking fan. You so know, if you're gonna I, I drink know, whiskey, it's gonna be bourbon, scotch. I know uh, Lemmy like Jack. Yeah. Or a bunch of other guys like Jack. I'm not. I'm just wondering if they like Jack because Lemmy like Jack. Yeah. <laughs> But Lemmy also liked methamphetamines. Yeah, Lemmy. Well, I think Lemmy liked anything you put in fucking front of him anyway. Right. Yeah. Especially young yeah. girls with uh, tight skirts. Yeah. Well, I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on, man. Uh, the, there's an interesting story. Hey, we're actually getting back to music. Uh, interesting story. Uh, Dave Grohl had uh, Lemmy because they were friends. Oh, yeah. It's not hard because he was sitting down at a bar in Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah, I could have visited him in any fucking time in any given day. Yeah, yeah. playing uh, video poker. Yeah, drinking his. But uh, as you're saying, uh, he um, well, one day Lemmy had walked in and Grohl had had his wife and his daughter, and his daughter was a couple years old, um, or like maybe a year, year and a half, son, right. really young. Um, and Lemmy had walked in, and he goes. You know, cigar and fucking booze. Or some, you know, Jack. Dave Grohl said, put the cigar out. No, he, he didn't say anything. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> put it out on your head. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let, let me look, looked over and he goes, hey, is that your your daughter? And he goes, yeah, yeah, it is. And he fucking put, a, put his drink down and threw a cigar into his drink. Just out of respect. Because well, that's he, cool. He wasn't going to do that around his oh, daughter. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's Lemmy, I mean. Yeah. It was, totally. just, it was just that, that And I would have shot up and said, kindness. you didn't have to do that, man. 
And the, that's what he goes. He goes, I really, I wasn't expecting Lemmy to do that because Lemmy was Lemmy. He did, yeah, what, Lemmy's he Lemmy. did what he wanted. He was a cool guy. And that's just how everybody should be treated anyway, man. You know, people Dignity and important. respect, sure. You know, just the, you know. And that's cool. I'd do the same thing. It's like, I, I don't want to smoke around Ted. Yeah. I don't smoke anymore anyway, but no. I wouldn't, you know, I didn't like smoking around you guys too much. Um, the, the only time he did it was when we beat him out and yeah. we're spent, trying to spend time with you, uh, you know. Well, I was doing my thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Laying down my thing. Again, uh, Keith Ray. Richards. Officially quit smoking, 78 yeah. years old. 78 years old. <laughs> Fucking Why? Rolling Stones, but uh, good I'd, for you. I'd pick up a gnarly drug habit, like a Sunshine of whatever, that movie, where their granddad was uh, oh, uh, Little, oh, Miss Little Miss Sunshine. Where Grandpa was a heroin addict, oh. at, like 78 years old. And he fucking died. And he overdosed. Well, he, was on, he was, had like cancer or some shit, didn't he? I don't know. He I think he was just old, and he's like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Kept him in the trunk of the car. Yeah. Where's your grandpa now? He's in the trunk of our car. Well, he's, yeah, <laughs> in the Volkswagen bus. Yeah. But, you know, good, good for you, uh, Keith Richards. I thought yeah. he was, I literally, the way he looks, I thought he was 105. Oh, he is. He like is oh, he's getting. Uh, have you guys seen his son? Oh, you're saying he quit smoking after 78 years. <laughs> oh, so he didn't smoke before he smoked. So he'd been alive for, you know, oh, another 20-some-odd years. <laughs> oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. He uh, also, um, very kind of eclectic kind of music, kind of uh, rock, uh, I don't know what you'd really call it, uh, but he went on on his own. Yeah, for yeah. An, for an album or two. But, uh, um, it, was, it was good. It was good. It's not Rolling Stone stuff. It's his right. own shit. I think I'm going to get uh, John from Deadline in here. And uh, unfortunately, Deadline is no longer. But uh, Stuart, I, I, I and I think we want to talk it. about, um, they were supposed to go on tonight, mm. but uh, something went awry and it's not happening. Oh, I don't sure. think Who? it's happening. Uh, Stuart from tonight? Deadline. Yeah, it was supposed to be tonight, but I don't think it's happening. Oh. Um, because um, one of the guys quit the, quit the band. The drummer. Uh, no, not the drummer. Really? Uh, one of the guitarists. No shit. Or the, the other guitarist, Johnson. No. Because Lee. of the drummer. He, so well, he got yeah. rid of rhythm. Pretty much. He got rid of rhythm. Who are you? So. What? Just kidding. Who are you? But anyway. Uh, Get the fuck out of here. No, I'm, I'm, I, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have to have John in. So Hell yeah. Talk about guitar. And, uh. And, uh. And go through the, uh, top 50 one of these days. No, I'm not saying next week, but. Yeah. One of these days. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to talking to him. It's been two months. Yeah, it's, it's been a long time. Because yeah. he was there when I picked up my toolbox and said, hasta la vista. Yeah. He's oh, like, oh. He's yeah. a good guy. He says, uh, <clears throat> what's going on? I said, uh, hey, man, I just got fired. He's like, what? Yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to bring up? Have you guys seen San Diego? I know. Five years old, sex, drugs, rock and roll, fucking. Well, he doesn't did, look as bad as fucking David no, Lee Roth. No, he did everything under the sun. The guy doesn't look seventy-five. Okay. No, he, he looks like he's in his sixties. Yeah. yeah. He, I mean, he looks good for his age, and the he dude looks did sick. everything under the sun. Destroyed. Yeah. Genetics body. are a funny thing, man. Yeah. Furthermore, certain people have it. Certain people don't. Have you seen Phil Collins lately? <laughs> he looks like he's on death's door. He is knocking on death's door. I'm sure. Knocking on heaven's door. Uh, hopefully, sure? heaven's door. I don't yeah. know what he's done. He may have fucking worshipped Satan. Yeah, he could have. <laughs> you know, so uh, who knows whose door he's he's, walking, he's knocking on? His death for sure. I mean, he's. I'm he Phil Collins, frail. motherfucker. Frail. Yeah, he's frail as shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, what? he was another one I grew up with, Phil Collins. Oh sure. Yeah, well, uh, he is the. If I remember correctly, I think I remember hearing some things about him being a dick to a few of his fans. I heard he was a dick, but I, you know, I mean, I'm sure we can read on online if he was a dick or not. Yeah. Yeah, but, same uh, thing was said about Chevy Chase. Right, but you know, I get you know some of those guys. It's not his fault for being a dick. Well, I guess, <laughs> like I said before, I get some of those guys when you're out on the street and they want to be with their families and shit, and maybe be alone, just give them a fucking nod. Mm-hmm. And don't run, rush up there and be the bitch, be yeah. the asshole. Yeah. 
You uh, might act like a dick when somebody comes up and says, oh, hey, can I see? You try to have family time and they want an autograph. Look, I'm a nobody and I'd be fucking pissed. Yeah. I'd be like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, sign so. Sign his shirt, sign his CD. You know, take I'm, so it's, I'm all, fucking, it's all about uh, the context of the, yeah. you know, and. Like Universal Studios and you're standing in line with your fucking kids and get something to eat and, you know, there's a group of fucking assholes around you. Yeah, I get that. I get, I'd get. i be a little fucking pissed, too. Yeah. Um, or in a mall or, or somewhere. Now, if you're in that mall to do a show or to be seen, or like a con of some sort, then that's one thing. Right. If you're out doing your thing. That was um, a weird thing about Rush, was that uh, Neil Peart never puked. He never did that. No. He was totally inverted and uh, antisocial right. uh, when it came to PR. He would not sign anything. He would he would just play the show and then evacuate, get away, and uh, had, but he was a very strange person and he had a, a very horrible um, end of life. Yeah. Uh, he lost his uh, wife and then he lost his daughter. But you know, yeah, that sucks. But he was in a, you know, next to like Dave Lombardo, like I said earlier, is my favorite fucking drummer. I just, I don't know what it is about it. Just the fucking inlays and all the, everything that he does is just amazing to me. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, but I really had a, a huge respect for uh, <coughs> for Neil Peart. Uh, Peart being Canadian. Peart. He's a Canadian fucked, eh? Yeah, he's a phenomenal drummer, phenomenal yeah. story, you know, great band. For for what they were. Not metal, but um Yeah. Yeah, well lessons learned, man. Yeah. Well, this is one thing for sure is we all can't be like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, that guy is a Better thing he's, he's a fucking a saint person. and he's a, an American treasure. I, I wish well, I could shoot sure. like him. Yeah, no, he's he's pretty cool. He you know, is. from my understanding, he he loves his fans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like the hands off approach, so he doesn't get in trouble. It's for is, real. It's oh, true. I really think it's really unfortunate that you know, yeah, people have to feel that way. Um, but I really think he is a you know. I I feel bad for all the shit he's gone through. Yeah, I do too. Because yep. I mean, he he didn't have a great childhood. He had, he had some family issues. He well, he's yeah. He seems like a real humble guy for going through a bunch of shit. Yeah, I mean, you know, he, he could have been a biggest prick in the world too. His girlfriend miscarried. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He yeah. yeah. Um, Excuse me. The, there was Sorry? a picture. No. There was a picture going around of him um, coming off the set of a movie for lunch, and there was he bought a bunch of food and he sat with a homeless man and had lunch. Yeah, no, nothing wrong with that. And That's after awesome. After that, he goes here, here, here you go, here, here's the rest of the food, and yeah, took off. Yeah, fuck. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, you need more people like that. You got people that are, uh, you know, more interested in videoing a rape on a New York or a Philadelphia. Yeah, or yeah. Subway. You know, subway or beatings than they are to go in and fucking. Tuning that motherfucker up, yeah. doing the right thing. Too many people nowadays are not doing the right thing. Right. And, uh, well, what, what's good about someone like John Reeves is even if it has a negligible effect, he at least still galvanizes some people to want to want to change themselves. Yeah, you you well, when you hear about that things, you want to be better. Yeah. Yeah. You know, not that you want to compete and be better than him. You want to be better than yourself. Yeah. I want to be the strongest woman. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, we're going to sign off here, right? Yeah, this is a conclusion of our uh, our metal perspective. We, we have a lot of perspective about a lot of shit. Yep. So um, I couldn't tell you what we're going to talk about next week, but it's probably going to be metal shit. Yeah. yeah. I, I would say, uh, you know, send in your, if you're watching this, send in your... Yeah, you try uh, to get in contact with us and send in. We're gonna review. Yeah, send in your music. Yeah. I was gonna say uh, maybe suggestions on. Um, oh, what you want to hear? All right, yeah. Well, what we want to talk about? Yes. 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 Yeah, you can um, 
you can email us at yeah. uh, metalperspective at gmail.com. Yep. Uh, if you want to get in contact with us or during a stream, just shoot out a comment. Do yeah. we have any uh, visitors today? Yeah, we've had a few. We have. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. So uh, with that being said, we do uh, we will be doing a lot of reviews on music. So send in your music, and uh, unfortunately, I can't promise you it's going to be good. If we don't like it, we don't like it. That's what that's our perspective. That's our. We'll give you our it. honest opinion. I will give you an honest yeah, opinion. It, and, it, is, uh, it is not a statement out of spite or anything like that. No, We're not no. making fun of you. It's just <coughs> what we believe. Now, we just, if we love it, we love it. Yeah, we can tell you what, what to work on and. What we like about it, what we don't like about it, and uh, you can grow from there. Mm -hmm. um, there are big popular bands that some of us don't fucking like, yeah. and uh, you know it's not not that they can grow anymore. It's just we just don't like their sound. So yeah, please send in, send in the music so we can give it a, a good listen. We'll play it out. Yeah, you know, give us permission to play it out, and uh, uh, we'll get you out there and um, we'll give you a listen. Hopefully, we'll do a. Um, a first review. We'll listen to it while uh, reviewing it. Yeah, uh, we can do that, or we can listen to it first and then, re then uh, you know, review it. But uh, yeah, please send in the music. All right, this I'm Sheldon, and this is F bomb diggity dog. F bomb diggity dog, and I'm Jesse, your engineer. All right. Good night. <laughs>